here's where you can download your update and I'll leave the link in the description to to get you directly here I'm um, running a Mac so this is the update that I installed or excuse me this is the update I downloaded NPC 2.3 updater So I'm getting this message here. It says it can't be open because it's from an unidentified developer. I'm on a Mac, so I'm going over to my system preferences. And if I go to security and privacy, I can get this going. Where it says allow apps to download from. MPC 2.30 updater was blocked from opening because it's not from an identified developer open anyway. Open. So I'm going to click off of this, and here is my update NPC. Hit update. NPC Live X is not detected. So to do this, it says put the device in update mode and connect to this computer via USB to start the updater. Enter standalone mode, open the preferences panel, info tab, then hold shift and press update. Okay, so we're going to turn this on. Get some light on in here. So I've got my MPC connected through USB. Um, I'm going to need to unplug that. And I also have my power source connected because it will not update unless it is connected. Okay, so I want to open the preference tab here. Then I'll have to hold shift and click the update button. This is, are you sure you want to restart your MPC in update mode? You must download a firmware update from the Akai Professional website before you can update this unit. So I'm going to hit update. And we are in update mode. I'm going to click update MPC. Let that go through for a minute. I'll, I'll probably cut this. Just you're not sitting here waiting like I am for this to update. All right, so the update is finished. I am now done with that. Sit done on that. Hardware is still doing some stuff. So it says updating. Please do not. Okay. So right off, what do we have? We've got 2.3 installed. Now let's dig in and see what we got. All right, so the first thing that came to my attention is that the MPC Live and X, um, the software in standalone mode now has built-in synthesizers. So I'm going to take a look at those and we just go to plugin and now click here on plugin and see. And these are the options I have. I now have three synthesizer plugins in standalone mode. Uh, there's baseline, electric and tube synth. So I need to plug in my uh, speakers here so I can check them out a little bit. So I plugged up my micro monitors. I want to get into these of new available synth plugins and the standalone MPC Live X software. So I'm gonna click, click on plug in here and go ahead and choose the first one, which is baseline. Okay. 
change my preset. Oh, okay, so that's the we got a default preset. So let's look, we'll go through a list of presets here. I'm just going to scroll through them. Let's see, organ. Slow, detune, drive. Uh, it seems to be a lot of presets we have here. Okay, well I'm gonna go back to default and uh, so what if I wanna go ahead and do some of my own editing. Let's try menu, program edit. Look at that, that's pretty beautiful right there. I quickly go through and take a look at all these synthesizers and what they look like. Let's do the electric, select that and We got a lot of these as well. Pretty cool. Let's go take a look at what that looks like. Very nice. This is definitely a big update. As you can see visually, visually the MPC Live and X just uh, up the game up standalone. About. Let's go ahead and take a look at the tube synth first before I get into what really has been exciting me about this whole update. Let's take a look at this tube synth, what that looks like. Very cool. Pretty dope. I don't want to dive too deep into this. I just wanted to take a look. This is my first look at this and I wanted to share with you guys just in case you weren't aware that there is an update like this and it just came out today. I just found out a few hours ago after I woke up kind of late and realized it was up and I'm like, okay, yeah, this is, this is amazing. So we got the synthesizers built into the standalone. And a big part of what I'm doing here, or what I wanna do here on my channel, and just in general, creating uh, music and beats is using the MPC Live to its full capability standalone, and that's why I purchased it. I wanna be able to do everything in here. And a lot of the future videos that I'm gonna be sharing and coming up with uh, with my channel is gonna be centered around that, you know, um, just doing mixes within the MPC itself. So what I'm really excited about is seeing the um, the user interface on the synthesizer there. And I hadn't had any word about whether this was an update, but I had a feeling because I've been wanting a user interface or, you know, a graphic user inter interface is what it's known as, a GUI or GUI. I don't know what people call it. GUI, let's say that. GUI sounds a little funny. But... uh yeah, so we're talking about effects now and having a GUI, a graphic user interface for that. So let's take a look. I want to in insert something. Say I want to insert a compressor. Let's look at, see how that is and what that looks like. So I want to go into edit and see what I have now. Now I have a beautiful, a beautiful looking interface right here visual representation now that looks dope that really excites me about getting about really using an npc live standalone because this just kind of takes it to a whole nother level as far as just like you know getting lost and immersed in the npc live itself as a standalone unit without relying on anything else outside of it um so let's take a look at some other stuff 
I want to take a look at what an EQ might look like. See the four band. I mean, it's it's basically all just visual, you know. Has anything really changed other, other than the visual representation of it? It just, it, I mean, it looks cool. So, <laughs> yeah, this is this is pretty cool. I really don't know what to say. It sound like a, it sound like a kid in a candy store, kid in a toy store. really seeing any new effects i think mainly it's just the uh, the new visual layout the uh, gui the graphic user interface that we have available here which looks very nice um i'm gonna dig a little deeper into this and of course have more videos in the future here on my channel so go ahead and subscribe for that um check out the stuff i have now so far um yeah i'm sure there's a lot more here uh beyond just the synthesizers and the new you know just the new layout with excuse me the new uh, interface with this with the effects as far as that goes some pretty cool stuff and you go you can go deeper in and look at uh, you know you have different tabs here for um, the synthesizer you have your oscillator mixer filter envelope uh, low frequency oscillator LFO and a bunch of other stuff here so go yeah go ahead and uh, download the update, of course, it's free on the Akai website, and I will link in the description directly to where you can download that. Um, check it out for yourself, man. It's very cool. It's pretty exciting uh, for the NPC Live users and for you guys stand alone. You know, just a uh, it's another encouragement that that uh, things can be done right here. It seems to be uh, uh, you know all in one kind of unit. So let's look for that, man. I'm gonna have a lot more videos in the future. Uh, check it out. Peace, everyone.